we are sure you would have seen the video of the Ford Sync feature, how well it works, how well it doesn't on our website thingdigit.com. If you haven't, we suggest you definitely check it out because it's a very neat feature to have inside the car. Right now Ford is offering it in the EcoSport. Today we sit inside the Fiat Punto. This is the Fiat Grand Punto and this has what essentially started it all, the Blue and Me feature. Fiat offers this in the Punto and the Linea range of cars in India. The Punto is the hatchback, the Linea is the sedan. This feature is on both of those cars. Let's just show you how well it works. Essentially, this is the first setup to come to India, much before Ford Sync. Now, let's just run you through what the, the, the hardware thing is. This is the steering control with the Windows logo on it. This is the main key. This is what controls the voice command system. The rest of it all, as you can see, it's, it's fairly easy to understand with the marking on it. This is, this, uh, this is the dashboard, the central console. In comparison to what Ford had to offer with the sync, with the complete display and everything, this looks a little spartan, a little old, a little dated. But we're not judging it on that. We're just judging it on performance. And if it works perfectly fine, then I mean, we don't really bother about the display or not. Let's just show you how well it works. The car at the moment is switched off. Well, before I start off, let me just say, Partly it works on this display and partly it works on this display. I'll run you through the video and you'll understand what I'm talking about. At the moment the car is switched off. As you can see there's nothing on the display. Let me just switch the car on now. There you go. Now. There it is. I had hooked up my iPhone with this Ford, uh, with this Fiat Blue and Me feature, and you could see the connectivity there. It said Vodafone Bluetooth connected. Now, to get the voice command to work, you need to press this button, the Windows button here. Essentially, in in the Ford Sync feature, you had to turn on the music system, and then only the Sync feature would work. The voice commands would work here. At the moment, the music system is turned off. There's nothing working, no AC, nothing. Let me just press this button. Please make a selection or say help. Dial. Number please. Nine eight one one zero nine eight one one. Zero. Nine eight one one zero zero nine eight one one zero. Complete the number or say dial or delete. Delete. Dial. Complete the number or say dial or delete. Delete. Dial. Number please. Nine eight one one zero. Nine eight one one zero. Nine eight one one zero nine eight one one zero. Dial. Well, it's 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 essentially a network failure, as you can see here. But Blue and me dialed the number perfectly fine. Now, why I'm not saying out a contact name here is because you need to transfer your phone book onto the device, onto this Blue and Me system, which I have not done till now. If you do, you can simply say call and the contact number, contact number's name, and the, and the system works perfectly fine. Now, 
as far as understanding our accents is concerned, I think Blue and Me is doing a much better job than Ford Sync because it used to get a little, little bit confused with our pronunciations and accents. Let me just show you the SMS readout feature here. So I'll I'll send out an SMS to my to my phone, and I'll simply write here, "Hi." So there it is. I'll simply write hi and send. So I've sent this to myself from another phone and I get an SMS here as you can see on this notification. SMS Message Reader. The commands available are read last one. Inbox, delete all, signal type, or exit. Read last one. No message in the vehicle memory. SMS. Message reader. The commands available are read last one. Inbox. Delete all. Signal type or exit. Inbox. No message in the vehicle memory. I think I need to send myself an SMS again to show you how it works. Something seems to have gone wrong here. I've again sent myself a message. The message has arrived. I can press on this button. SMS. Message reader. The commands available are read last one, inbox, delete all, signal type or exit. Inbox. No message in the vehicle memory. Uh. That's weird. Please make a selection or say help. Well, actually, what I will do now is send an SMS. Actually, pair my other phone with this device and see how well that works in sending out an SMS. So I go into. Please make a selection. To know the commands available, you can say help at any time. Help! The commands available are message reader, settings, telephone, media player, or cancel. Settings! Settings. The commands available are user data and pairing. Pairing! User pairing in progress. The pin code is 5890. To pair up, look for the blue and me with your device and insert the pin code displayed. So there you go, blue and me shows up on the phone. It said 5890. I enter that here. Blue and me connecting. As you can see, we had tested sync with the same connecting. Phone. There you go. It says HTC One connected. Now let me send an SMS to from the iPhone to the HTC. A simple message that says hi. Send. Welcome. To use the phone book, it is necessary to copy the contacts on the vehicle. Continue. No. Welcome. To use the phone book, it is necessary. 
SMS. Welcome. To use the phone book, it is necessary to copy the contacts on the vehicle. Continue. No. Welcome. To use the phone book, it is necessary to copy the contacts on the vehicle. Continue. Yes. With all the commands available, you can say help at any time. Help. Copying the phone book onto the system enables the system to be used more easily. For example, you can make a call by saying call plus the name of the person you wish to call. To copy the phone book, say yes, otherwise say no or cancel. Yes. Copying. And it says copying the phone book. I've even got the notification on the device. Wants to access your contacts and call history? Yes. So now the copying should begin in the background. Well, I assume the copying has happened, so let's let's try the SMS readout feature again. SMS Message reader. The commands available are read last one, inbox, delete all, signal type or exit. Read last one. Please make a selection. Or say help. Inbox. Please make a selection. To know the commands available, you can say help at any time. Help. Help. Well, it it just doesn't respond, does it? SMS Please make a selection or say help Inbox Please make a selection to know the commands available you can say help at any time Well, I don't think the SMS feature works very well. As we can see, we have connected two phones. It refuses to read an SMS from either phone. So that's a bit of an issue. Let's try something else. Play radio. No USB device found. I said play radio, it's saying USB. Play! Play! No USB device found. That's very weird. Please make a selection or say help. Help! The commands available are message reader, settings, telephone, Media player or cancel. Media player. Media player. The available commands are USB media settings or cancel. Cancel. Huh? Telephone. Telephone. The commands available are call followed by the name dial followed by the number redial or call back call we m 
the home number available. Call Penia at work or on mobile. Call Penia at work or on mobile. Cancel! Let's try again. Telephone! Telephone. The commands available are call, followed by the name, dial, followed by the number, redial, or call back. Call V M. Well, incidentally, the home number available. Call with him now. That's that's very weird because it's not picking up the accent in this case, whereas it picks up most other pronunciations very nicely. No, I do not call want to call with him now. No. So. Well, there you have it, essentially. It's it's understanding quite a few of our accents easily. So when I say telephone, it understands telephone. When I say media, it understands media. When I say help, it understands help. But when I say call and a name, it, it doesn't understand that. I'm just simply calling my other number, which I have saved on one of these, on in fact, both of these phones as VM. And it refuses to make that call to the other number from, from one of these phones. Now... In fourth sync, you had the feature of setting one of these devices as primary. Here, I do not see any of those options. It's a little Spartan in comparison to that, so you don't really have control over that kind of a scenario. Uh, essentially, even in fourth sync, we had seen that well, basic commands work perfectly fine. So you, when it when you tell it play USB, it will play back the USB perfectly fine. But the moment you tell it play a certain track name, that's when it gets confused. Tell it to call a simple name, it calls. Tell it to call a complicated name, it can't. Same thing we are noticing here. It's having a problem with, with our names and accents, most of our phone book basically. So that can be a little annoying when you're driving. Now, the, the purpose of such a system essentially, I believe, would now be to use the system, to use the car speakers, to receive calls without having to look away from the road. And, and basically to just dial the number on your phone that's going to be quicker and use this setup basically for audio now I know it's it's a pretty crude way of saying that but even with fourth sync we noticed that accent problem with blue and me we are noticing the same accent problem and I don't think while driving you really want to get into a tussle with a machine that you really cannot argue with in terms of pronunciations and stuff so you would still be better off driving the way you are using the fa the phone pretty much the way you do to dial numbers and to receive calls but use this system additionally in tandem with your phone to basically make the entire thing more comfortable for you for receiving calls as well as for when you are taking a call and you are in the call